you for the affirmative claim regarding the immigration being good for the U.S. economy. So we both agree that opposition one and two are correct, but within opposition three sub points A and B, that's where we want to conflict for today's debate. The firmness states in their criteria that Social Security has become increasingly reliant on illegal immigration. Um, to claim that Social Security is reliant on immigration doesn't highlight the benefits that it brings to the economy. They um, it demonstrates how counterproductive it is to um, our nation because not every immigrant pays their taxes. And it's nearly impossible to find a statistic that states how much we lose from um, immigrants who do not pay their taxes. Um, I don't believe that we should solely pay, um, depend on Social Security contributions alone. Um, Subpoint B states that immigrants keep labor costs low, which prevents inflation. They, um, that ties into ensuring that in order to keep our economy growing, we have to ensure that our citizens receive the sufficient care first before immigrants. Um, Today we're here to debate the question of whether immigration is good for the U.S. economy. And we have to consider that our citizens come first, regardless of their, um, their documentation status. So I now stand open for cross-examination. You sure? We've got three minutes left. Yeah? Okay. Cross-ex. Observations based on that you discussed that not every immigrant pays taxes. Do you know how many immigrants pay taxes? Um, as I stated, that um, we there are no statistics. Um, I don't have those statistics. Okay, because we have source material that says um, seventy-seven percent of immigrants, both legal and illegal, do pay taxes. Actually, no, that statistic just refers to um, illegal immigrants, which is the point that you're arguing is that illegal immigrants are not paying taxes, or not to the extent that you think that they should be. Yes. Okay. And um, <clears throat> so your argument in your sub point B is that our citizens come first. Is that the central argument? Yes. Okay. And um, the, how are you opposing exactly what you said? That's just something that I couldn't um, follow. To yeah. clarify, our native born citizens, not anyone that's migrated from another country to this country. Not even legal immigrants that are coming to this country? No. Okay. And so the point that, against ours that you're arguing is that um, immigrant tax revenue outdoes the costs, and to that is what you said our citizens need to come first? Can you clarify that one more time? So our subpoint B is that um, basically that immigrant tax revenue exceeds the costs that um, are associated with having them in our country. And was your response to that the point that you said that our citizens need to come first? Or was that a different point? I just didn't follow. That was a different point. So okay. what I mentioned was that we, um, immigration, or I'm sorry, immigrants don't contribute as much as um, normal citizens do. They contribute only half a, a certain sum of that. Because not every um, immigrants pay taxes. Okay. Um, no further questions. Okay. Thank you. All righty.